Guys, Bitcoin is at a critical point right now. You can see that my orange box is still holding up the Bitcoin price here, but for how long? Today, guys, I am going to talk about what I see happening next for Bitcoin. I'm going to talk you through a couple of very important charts, also signaling what the next major move is going to be for Bitcoin. Also, you had $300 million worth of crypto absolutely wrecked yesterday in liquidation. So guys, make sure to stick around from the beginning until the end of this video. Welcome back, everybody. My name is Chris, bringing you cryptocurrency videos every day teaching you how to make money in this market if you're new to the channel then make sure to subscribe and activate the bell right now so let's get straight into it guys and what you can see guys is that after having a drop and being supported off of my orange box right here we did have a decent bounce actually from my orange line down here we had a bounce of about 10 percent right so we had this bounce and then we had another pullback and you can see that my orange box is still holding up the Bitcoin price. The bulls are defending this area with their lives. Now, why did we see this uh, drop here? Well, the first one was with the rockets being launched um, by Iran, okay? So the rockets were launched, the missiles were launched, and then you had a bounce here, okay? Because of the orange box held up the price. And then we were, you know, going up, but then you did have some more bearish news in terms of that situation. So what you saw yesterday is, if I go over here. So what you saw yesterday is some tensions, additional tensions in regards to the response from Israel to the Iranian attack. Well, they've been saying that the attack is imminent and they are going to respond. So now the entire world is very fearful. Like, what is this going to lead into? Like, what is going to come out of this situation? What is the response going to be? And what effect is that going to have on the entire world? So based on the tensions right now, the traditional markets took a huge drop yesterday. So this drop right here is actually one of the biggest drops we have seen in uh, in recent times. Not only this one on the four hourly time frame, but if, if you also count in, you know, this drop right here, which we already had from the 12th, we went down and we've been on a trajectory down for quite a while. So right now on traditional markets, we are actually down 5%, which is kind of significant but even more significant is that we also broke down from this uh, structure right here you can see that we had a little bit of a trend line here supporting the price a little bit on the way down and now we have broken through it and as soon as we broke through this towards the downside we had an additional drop of 1.2 percent approximately now, what we have done now is that this has now played out and we are starting to potentially form a little bit of a trend line like this, potentially. So let's see if this is going to continue to hold. But then we have, you know, the uh, orange line here at 50, uh, or, sorry, 5,056. So let's keep our eyes on this one. This is going to be a logical point for the traditional markets to have a little bit of a bounce off of if we come down. So in order to come down to this point, we need another about 1%. So there is some short-term, at least short-term, um, bounce opportunities here around my orange line. But of course, depending on what comes out of the situation in the Middle East, and it is very, I mean, everything is very tense right now. Also, you have the Bitcoin having, you have so many dynamics happening right now. So um, yeah, right now is just keep your bags, like, not over leveraged. Be prepared for volatility towards the up and to the downside. But I do think that all of these things, it is going to be, it's going to have a short term effect on the price. Yes, but I still think that Bitcoin is looking, looking pretty decent. I mean, it's still looking bullish. This doesn't change just because some missiles were launched, just because, yes, you do have a lot of tensions right now. There's a lot of fear in the market, but that doesn't take away from the fundamentals of Bitcoin and how bullish they look. Uh, so that is my opinion, essentially. Um, so we need to see if this orange line can, sorry, orange box can hold here. So on the daily time frame, you can see it is looking like this. So we had a, this is actually the lowest body of the candle we have had inside of the orange box right here. So if this orange box does not hold up, and remember, we did see a massive drop here for the traditional markets, but still my orange box is holding up the prices here. So we have a lot of sell, we have a lot of sell pressure for sure. Um, but if this doesn't hold, 
then the next logical point of major support is going to be at $57,000. So I already want to prepare you for this. Should we lose this level? The next logical major support level is $57,500. Yes, along the line, you're going to have this orange line at 61. You're going to have 59, but then the big one at 57,500. So be prepared for all the different scenarios here, depending on how crazy the things are going to escalate here based on the situation. Also, apart from that, you also have bearish news coming out of the inflation data. So just for reference, US CPI inflation is on track to hit almost 5% by the 2024 election, according to the Bank of America. So over the past uh, three months, CPI inflation has averaged 0.4% on a month-over-month -month basis, meaning if you compare the inflation to the month of last year, so let's say you compare you know, April of this year compared to April of last year, if you look at the past three months, it has gone up by 0.4% by average. So this would mean that come the end of the year, you're going to have about 5% in year-over-year uh, -year -year inflation. So that is not a very good thing, guys. And this is just the trajectory of how it could look here. If you continue to have 0.4%, which has been the average over the past three months, then you're looking at something like this red line here, which is not very, very nice. So also, if you can manage to uh, make this drop, so you can have maybe 0.1, you drop it down to 0.2, then the inflation is going to continue to come down and we're eventually going to reach that 2% target. So you can see how, you know, we are in a very kind of crazy situation right now with the inflation being, it just takes a little bit of factors to tip these ones in either direction, but long term it would have big effects. So let's keep our eyes on that. This is not what the Fed wants to see. The Fed does not want us to see a comeback up to about 5% here. So we're keeping our eyes on that, obviously. In terms of the spot Bitcoin ETFs, you can see that we had a red day yesterday. Um, sorry, on Friday this is. Yesterday, we also have a red day so far. However, most of these ETF providers have not reported their uh, numbers. So let's keep our eyes on that as well. Now, what I want to show you is that uh, Hong Kong has also now uh, cleared this Bitcoin spot ETF application. So Spot Bitcoin ETF has been listed in Hong Kong. So that is good bullish. So what I also want to show you is this on-chain metric. So this is the realized cap huddle waves for supply aged up to six months. So this shows us how much of the supply that is aged uh, in within the next or sorry, the last six months, how much of those are in realized profits. And we don't need to dive into the actual complete details and technicals of how this works, but the main thing is I want to show you the difference in between these two prior cycle tops and where we are right now. So in the 2018 cycle, you can see that about 95% were, this metric was at 95%, okay, at the previous top. You can see at the second top of 2021, we were at 84%. Now, we are nowhere close to that. We are at only 47%, indicating that if this was the top at 70, what was it, $73,000 or such, if this was actually the top for Bitcoin, well, that would be very different to the previous cycles. Now, I will put in one caveat, and that is that I think that on-chain metrics are going to change because of the Bitcoin spot ETFs. Obviously, they are buying Bitcoin on behalf of people, so you can trade, but on-chain, not a lot is happening because, you know, the spot ETF providers can, um, yeah, they can just hold on to those Bitcoin and they're doing it in a centralized way. So I think on-chain metrics are going to change, but still, this is at least something to take away from where we are right now. If we saw the top at the previous all-time high, then that is very different from the previous cycle tops in terms of on-chain metrics here. Another on-chain metric I want to show you is the realized profit to loss ratio. So basically, this shows us how much realized profit and losses has been happening. And this typically shows us whenever you see a bottom here for Bitcoin, it typically means that more people are realizing losses compared to profits. 
So right here, you can see we are getting close to, this is actually, is it below one? I would, no, this is not below one because below one would be red, but it's very close to being below one. And this was more or less a local bottom or a cycle bottom for Bitcoin. You can even see it right here. This was the absolute bottom for Bitcoin when we went below one right here. This was also a bottom for Bitcoin. We went below it. This was actually the 18th of March. And since then, we did have a pump here as well. And now we are very far below one, similar as you saw right here, meaning people are realizing losses for Bitcoin. And this is typically a metric on the shorter time frames here when we see a local, a local bounce. So do you think we're going to see a bounce based off of this? Let me know down in the comment section. And just like I said, be careful with leverage, guys, because 300, additionally, $300 million worth of crypto was liquidated yesterday. And uh, during the last three, four days, you've had several billion dollars worth of crypto being liquidated. So be careful with, uh, with leverage right now, guys. Holding spot positions is what I am doing. I am hoping for a bounce here, but if we do not see the bounce, then, um, you know, next level is 70, uh, sorry, 57,500. We need to keep all the different scenarios on our mind here because we do not know with the X factors that is happening right now. We do not know what is going to come out of this. But one thing I will say, the last time I saw peak fear like this, one of the major things, kind of situations, when I saw massive fear like this was during the COVID crash. And during the COVID crash, when you saw Bitcoin drop down like a rock, and by the way, guys, what you're seeing right now is nothing compared to the COVID crash in terms of peak kind of uh, price action. The downside during the COVID crash was completely insane. I remember watching this candle here on the one minute chart and just seeing this one drop from like $10,000 to $3,000. Uh, but this one right here, like $8,000 down to $3,800, this was in a matter of like one hour. It was absolutely insane. I will never forget that day. Luckily, what you're seeing right now is not this, okay? What you've been seeing right now with the attacks is not this. But what I want to point out is, look at this. This marked the absolute bottom. This was peak fear. And then from that point, you went up from $3,800 up to $64,000, okay? So just wanted to point that out. Sure, let's buy the fear, but let's also be prepared for the fear going down. If we see something crazy happen, then don't deploy maybe everything once Bitcoin goes down two, three, four, five percent Could go down lower, but maybe just have a plan for how you're gonna play out the volatility that is going to come if we see an escalation. Hopefully, we do not see an escalation here. Hopefully, we've already marked the bottom at my orange box and that we're going to have a big bounce from this point. But if we do see something crazy happening here, it's out of our control. That's the first thing we need to realize. This is completely out of our control. The only thing we can do is react to what is happening. But have a plan already, guys, for if this is going to happen. And hopefully, just like I said, nothing crazy is going to happen and we can just continue towards the upside, but be prepared for all the different scenarios and how you are going to play that if it actually were to take a very nasty turn. Guys, this is what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.